going on? I'm Connor Old Money, and here is my next deconstructed video. Woo! <laughs> that was great. See, that's how fire my beats are. <laughs> I bet you're wondering about the base. Well, let's go into it right after I take this little shot. All right. Safety's on. My virgin ears. I started the beat with this. Now what this is, is just a, it's a clap and a kick track. And then I have some 808s. Um, you know, the, the low end will sound crazy in your, you know, in your stereo here and whatever at your house or in your car or at your mama's house. I like, I like to hard print my 808s like I've always shown you guys before. I don't really MIDI my 808s. For some reason, for some reason, for some reason, for some reason, for some reason it's just easier for me. <laughs> in a way, by doing that, it also forces you to be more simple with your 808s. It doesn't have you being like, well, I'm gonna make the most fancy melody with my 808s. Nah, it's just you just kind of keep a nice root note. You know, this is essentially almost, this is just like two notes. Doom, do 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 right? And then, so, do 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 right? One note, ding, one octave up, and then, do do The drums kind of glue everything together. Right, right here, like, you're already ready to go. Like, when you start, when you're writing with a writer in the room, this is a great way to start, you just do this. You know, you get, you give them a few, just a drum rhythm, some moving bass, and then now you have the energy in the room. Like, I love just kind of starting a bass beat and then just letting the writer kind of take, take it from there. Um, the rest I can do kind of on my own time, you know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? I'm saying know what I'm saying a lot today. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. I feel like maybe people don't know what I'm saying. You know, low key, one of my favorite parts of this beat is the stupid telephone dialing. I don't even know why I put it in there. It just sounded cool. All right, like what the fuck is that? But it's great. It sounds cool in there, so I'm not really sweating it too hard. The more shit you got going on with your beat, the more shit you got going on. Your, the more shit you got going. On, the more shit you got going on in your beat. Uh, the the more work you got at the end to mix it down. So, so if you're so if you're a lazy mother, then you might as well just you know keep shit simple. These guys are sighting in their guns while I'm doing music. This is a typical hangout for me here in Canada. Oh, Canada. I felt like the song was pretty much done here. You know, like you could get away with this, but time to spice up the drums, right? And the drums are made of a few different loops. So you, what you have here is a, a few different reggaeton uh, drum rhythms. A lot of people that produce reggaeton will know which rhythms these are. And then this guy, this is a chop that I made. It's like a dance hall drum chop. The three of these together gives it a really nice kind of rhythm. You know what I'm saying? Like this rhythm is really, really cool. It's a little, it's a little bit loose. What I wanted to add to that was a little bit of hip hop flavor. I ended up taking some break beats, uh, which are these two drums right here. These two drums. Right here. Now what's cool is that these uh, the break beats are actually you know focused more on the twos and the fours. It's more of a hip hop boom bap rhythm. So that combined with the reggaeton drum sounds really dope. It just gives it more of a punch. It drives the twos and the fours a little bit harder, so it gives you that that hip hop feel. What about the synths? I'll tell you after I take the shot. Cover your ears, boys. All right. All right, anyways, made the lead in Reactor in Razor, you guys. This is a Razor Reactor lead, and this is what it originally was. So that's, that was my first lead, was this Reactor lead. 
right? And then I had my drums on that. Now, see the club's already the club's already starting to move here. You know, you're at the club, you're drinking, you get turned down by girls, things are going good. The bass. Now, I wanted to kind of give it a more of a stop and go feel. I felt like the lead was good, but it was driving too much attention because then if I put a vocalist on it and you have this whole concept, it'll just take too much away from the vocalist. So I ended up uh, doing what I normally do, which is I printed it and I f***ed with it. I moved it down an octave. I kept it in my little beats mode in here and this is how it sounds. Right? It's fucking cool now. Now it's cool. And then a little stutter here. Yeah. So that's what it that's that's what came of that lead. And then when you add the 808 rhythm to it. Right? Sounds really nice. Sounds very nice. Now you know when you add the vocals to it. What you guys also hear. So this little LFO siren is actually a cop siren with LFO tool on it. So this is a cop siren with an LFO tool on it. That's all it is. So I also had this idea, but I didn't end up going with it, but you get a little preview here for being cool. So that was the first part. This ended up become, becoming this. Nine minutes. That's the nine? <laughs> Sounds so small. It's almost cute. So originally we wrote this as sliding on a razor scooter but I could I didn't want to make a reference to like modern colloquialisms or any kind of like modern products sliding on a razor scooter sliding on a razor scooter baby let me see <laughs> yo sliding on a razor scooter baby let me see your cooter that is the line of the century heartbreak I love you buddy this is another freeze you know That could be another beat right there. Hear that shit? Hold on. Boom. Let me just fly this. Let me see this. This is grimy. shit's so addictive because then I do that and I'm like oh and oftentimes producers this is what they get caught in yo this shit's, that shit's so hard I'm gonna make a new beat out of this let me know if you want me to put that shit up I might do this actually I might make a new track out of just this sound Eyebrows. 
out of the way of the fire. And now we're good to go. We can roast our hot dogs. Not the most aesthetic fire, but it'll do. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that fucking manly masterpiece right there. Holy shit, you got the slices in it and everything. You're as good as those guys at the Canadian Tire or Home Depot stands. Never forget it. <laughs> Yo, but really though, I don't understand the big deal about cooking school. I mean, this is you just do this. <laughs> it's like, what's the big deal? Like, if people are paying money to go to school to learn how to do this. Look at that, we got our onion here. This is just cooking in the great outdoors. Let's take one of these bitches. Wham! There you go. Look at that dog, Willie. Look at my wiener, Willie. Be a good neighbor and clean up your trash. And other people's trash, apparently. It's disgusting.